Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and today we're going to do some high-level clears with Apocalypse. And we're going to use a method that was shown to me actually about a week ago or so, but it wasn't the first time it was introduced. I actually felt quite embarrassed after I posted the video showing a team up with Doctor Strange and Weapon Hex with Mr. Fantastic. I did not know that this was already done before, but I can't deny that this method is amazing. So shout out to the originator. I'm not sure who it was that did this the first time. Shout out to you, buddy, because this is an amazing method. I said I wanted to do more of these videos. I really wasn't sure if I was going to because I did feel quite embarrassed that this was already done. So it really wasn't nothing new, but I don't know if there's any apocalypse runs using this method or not, but if there isn't, you're going to see it today. And it is really insane, you know, having Doctor Strange, especially for his leadership, this 30% increase of energy attack that's going to buff up Apocalypse is freaking amazing. Plus, Doctor Strange, we're going to use that Tier 3 to get this crazy all-defense down that starts off at 60%, which means once you apply Weapon Hex's all-defense down, you do two hits, and you got the 100% all-defense down. I mean, this is a genius genius method not to mention we'll keep the boss under time freeze the whole time as long and this is the hint as there's no cut time in the world boss if there's a cut time that time freeze won't work worth a damn and of course we're going to use weapon hex for her fourth skill which is you know the only one that's actually 100 percent. i really wish we had another character that could do this so you could do multiple clears Using these kinds of methods, having another character that have this stack with 100% all defense sound would be freaking amazing. Net Marble, come on, hook it up to help us with more high level clears because with this method, you can do it once, but it sure would be nice to be able to do it more than that. And then, of course, Apocalypse, our damage dealer. My Apocalypse has almost 60,000 energy attack, he is built pretty good. He has 128 attack speed, 49 crit rate, 184 critical damage, max ignore defense, max skill cooldown. And he does have Odin's Blessings. He has four, eight Odin's Blessings. He has five star energy attack Urus in his slots. I do have 83% energy attack on my cards. But when you see how fast Apocalypse can do this, believe me, you don't need these, this kind of build. You do not need it. He's going to slaughter high levels using this method. And, you know, Apocalypse, you know, he's freaking insane, blah, blah. His tier 3 is nutso. Actually, his tier 3 really don't have a whole lot to offer except for this increased damage by 100% for one attack. So whenever I do this, I'm going to hit the tier 3 and kind of let it play out. But you'll see me what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit the 3 first to get the all attack buff. Then I'm going to hit the 4, make sure I land that 4 to get the mine resistance down. And then I'm going to hit the fist skill for the extra damage. And the beautiful thing about Apocalypse is you can cancel the skills. Now, if you're running with a damage proc, this will still work, but it won't be quite as good because you really need to cancel the three into the four, into the five, and then into the two, and then the one. And if you're using a proc, that's gonna be very difficult. If I was using a proc, I'd, be, I'd probably just go three, four, five, and probably stop at that, unless I could throw in that one afterwards. But you gotta let the fight play out a little bit before you can do that. So the proc will probably trigger on the fist skill. So you probably just want to hit three, cancel four, cancel five, and try that. With a proc, I'm sure it would work, but it just won't work as good. He's not gonna do as much damage. We could use his leadership, but 30% energy attack is better than 18% all attack. He does have a fully awakened power of Angry Hawk set. And I do have a CTP of Judgment, which I think is a fantastic obelisk for this guy. Uh, I actually used the Rage in ABX with this guy compared to a Judgment. I really couldn't see a whole lot of difference. Uh, a slight difference. The Rage was a bit better, but boy, it wasn't by much. So I just decided to put the Judgment back on him because I think it just works so well, even for ABX. Then he has a Mythic Uniform. And he had all as far as his uniform options, you got Crystal for the first one, you got Doctor Strange for the next one, which is which is kind of funny that we got Doctor Strange. We got a little HP for the third one. We got some extra dodge from Rocket here. And then we got a little extra critical damage from Spidey 299's uniform, which kind of sucks because that is a paywall uniform. And we're gonna take on well, we just got the reset. And we're gonna take on, luckily I pre-recorded these videos already. But we're going to take on Call here, and we're going to do stage 94. Now, 
before the preset, before the reset, there was no cut time here. So just keep that in mind. The only reason we're going to be able to time freeze call, as you'll see in the video, is because this cut time wasn't here before the reset. We just had the reset. So yeah, now we have a cut time. And we'll use these strikes right here, all damage dealt to super villains. And then we're also going to do stage 99 against Ebony. And Ebony actually didn't have a cut time on the stage 99 clear that I did because you'll see that Ebony will get time frozen. If, if, it, if we had a cut time, then we'd have immunity to time freeze and it wouldn't work. And we're going to use these strikers right here. Just some damage out to super villains and that's it. You know, just a little bit different, a little shrog action. Nothing major. So let's get into the action and let's rock and roll. So again, when I did this run, we didn't have, I didn't have a cut time. So we will be able to time freeze call. Oh, right, here we go. And there you go. You can see he's frozen right there. And if if call if you can't time freeze call, if there's a cut time in here, you can still do it. I mean, look, the power is there. You'll see the, the amount of time that we finish this in. We could definitely do stage 99, but if that cut time is in there, it just makes it very hard because Cole will guard break the living crap out of Apocalypse unless he's using his fifth skill, which has that invincibility, or using his tier three. But you'll find that you can get guard broken. Doc Strange will get guard broken because he has no super armor, and he can actually die once he starts getting guard broken. So it's best to do this when there's no cut time at all. With Because when it's not here, you can see how easy this is. I mean, like I said earlier, this is just a genius method. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's, this is one of the easiest ways to clear a high-level world boss because you're bringing in two all-defense down strikers that one has amazing CC control, the other has the 100% all all-defense down, and then the all-defense down that you get from Doctor Strange just stacks up that 100% all all-defense down in a matter of a second, maybe actually maybe even less, just two hits. And man, you can just rock out the freaking damage. It's just nuts. It's a bonko method to use, and I absolutely love it. I mean, look at this. And definitely when you hit the tier three, you're definitely gonna be doing more damage. But I just go back and forth, keep it flowing, keep it flowing. If you wanted to, you could just do the three, four, five, two, one, three, four, five, two, one, and then the tier three, if you wanted to. Go ahead and just run through Apocalypse's all the skills. But I find that you'll do more consistent damage if you do it the way I'm doing it, where you just run through the rotation once, get the all defense down, switch your characters all around again, run through your rotation again, and then use your, your tier three with the all defense down. And this is another thing. Whenever Call does this, uh, this moment in the fight, if you don't have that time freeze, you can't take him out of this little phase. And Cole will start spinning around, and again, he can start guard breaking you, and you pretty much are gonna die. So it's like I said, it's just much a lot easier to make sure you don't have a cut time when you're facing these world bosses, when you're trying to use this kind of method. And there, I missed my three, it happens, no big deal. We're getting guard broken a little bit. There we go, we're getting guard broken, okay. And, and if you don't have that time freeze, that's going to happen a whole lot more often. And you see how quick I'm switching Weapon X. I literally hit that button and switch to Apocalypse. You only have five seconds where that 100% all defense down is going to apply. You only have four seconds where Doctor Strange's all defense down is going to apply. And that's it. And you just want to make sure when you use Doctor Strange, just watch the clones come out. Have the SFX animation off. Let the clones come out. And as soon as the clones come out, switch to Weapon X. Use their four skill. Quickly switch to Apocalypse and do the three, four, five. And then the two, one, if you have a judgment or rage on them. And if you have a proc, just do the three, four, five and try that. And let me know in the comments how that worked out for you if you're just running a regular proc on Apocalypse. Because I have no idea. I, I, you know, I have a judgment, so I just don't know how good it's going to be. But I imagine it still would be pretty good. And look at this. We're down to under two bars. We have, you know, just a little, about a minute, 40 seconds left right now. So he could, he definitely can do stage 99, but you just gotta make sure that cut time is not there. Otherwise, it's a real nightmare. I did try it a couple times, and the guard breaking was just, it was just too annoying. I was like, the hell with this. You want this to be easy, and look at this, minute 26 seconds, definitely can do the stage 99, no problem. And it's just awesome to see, you know, Apocalypse do stage 99s 
once again and do it so easy, obviously with the aid of Weapon Hex and Doctor Strange, but man, this is just so freaking sweet. So let's move on to the next run. All right, so this run here, we didn't have a cut time and you will see that Ebony will get time frozen because if we did have a cut time, he wouldn't. Watch out. And it's really nice that you can also use Doctor Strange leadership to buff up Apocalypse. And there you see Ebony did get time frozen. So again, the cut time is not in effect. Here we go. Boom. And I, man, I just love this method. It's so freaking cool. And this was easy. This took me one try. One try and I was able to do this. One try. And when I didn't have a cut time, when I lowered the world boss for call, went from 99 to 94 so I wouldn't have the cut time, I did it one try. It's just that easy. You know, as long as you're quick on the quick on the trigger and you can switch your characters pretty quick, it's pretty easy. Come on, come on. And Apocalypse was made for this. He was made for Ebony. Come on, with all that mind damage on him. We're just gonna go ahead and wait. We're just gonna wait. Let old Pokey get over up in the corner there. There we go. And boom. Oh, I love it so much. It's so awesome. Hell yeah. And if I wouldn't have if I would have done this after the reset, then I probably wouldn't have been able to do stage 99 because I wouldn't have been able to time freeze Ebony. He would have been freaking eye framing all over the damn place. All defense downs would have been missing, attacks would have been missing, and we probably wouldn't have done enough damage to get it done. Having that time freeze makes a big difference. Big difference. And normally I do hit the five and the four when I'm using Weapon X, but I don't know, I just said to hell with it and just hit the four. It's really all you need to do to be perfectly honest. You don't need to hit the five. Okay, we gotta watch out, watch out, watch out. I tried hitting that fifth skill, but Ebony was in that eye frame, but we got him now. No big deal. Come on, punk. Ooh, take that. And you see, man, I just hit that four and I switched immediately to Apocalypse. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, go in your next phase, Ebony. It doesn't matter. You're going down, punk. You're going down. Oh, I love this so much. Here we go. Boom. Clones come out. The screen zooms out, and that's when you want to switch to Weapon Hex. Oh, man, when you hit that tier three, you really see the damage, man. It's nuts. Come on, come on, come on. And if you all would like to see the same team up with other characters, I'd be happy to try that as well. But for some reason, I just wanted to do this with Apocalypse. Because as far as I know, this is not... I haven't seen this been done, but maybe it has. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, easy. I think two more shots and we'll have this. And you know, everybody's just sitting there time frozen while we use our all defense down, while we use our skills. And then Apocalypse got that mind control on his fourth skill. So as soon as you do the fourth skill, then Ebony's locked down again. Then you switch to Doctor Strange, then you time freeze Ebony. I mean, just the CC's just nuts so man. It's just nuts. And this would work good against the mutants too, except for the Eye of Abyss could be a bit of a problem. But maybe if you bring in Ancient One as a striker, that would really help with that. And you see about a minute 30 left. Did stage 99. So it's freaking fantastic that Apocalypse can still do the stage 99s. Doctor Strange cannot do this on his own. So it's pretty freaking awesome. So let me know how you're all feeling about Apocalypse being capable of still doing stage 99 call and doing stage 99 ebony. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.